everyone if you are looking to start an online business creating a woocommerce shop page is a great way to get started woocommerce is a popular and powerful e-commerce plugin for wordpress where you can customize your shop page to showcase your products in the best way possible and make it easy for the customers to browse and purchase the items thus in today's video let me show you how you can set up a woocommerce shop page i'm aparna singh from learn woo and let's get started First and foremost install and set up WooCommerce. In case you don't know how to do that, don't worry because below in the description I have mentioned a link to a video that will give you a beginner's guide to WooCommerce. When you install WooCommerce, the plugin automatically creates essential e-commerce pages like shop, cart, checkout, my account and privacy policy. Now each of these pages has its own utility on your website. So when you import products to your website they are automatically transferred to the shop page. Thus below in the description I have mentioned a link to a video that will give you a complete guide on how to import products to WooCommerce for free. However, you can also define a custom page as your shop page too. For that go to WordPress dashboard. Now go to WooCommerce and click on settings. Now switch to products tab. In the general sub tab the first option that is shop page you can define your shop page here. Now click on the drop down menu and select the page of your choice. Below that you can also manage your cart behavior and set a placeholder image. Just below the shop page settings the add to cart behavior section has two controls. Enable the redirect to cart page after successful addition option if you want your shoppers to be redirected to the cart page when they add an item to the cart. Keep the enable ajax add to cart buttons on archives option if you want to add the add to cart option to shop archive pages. Below that you can also set a placeholder image that will be displayed whenever a product in your shop doesn't have an image linked to it. For that just go to your WordPress media library from WordPress dashboard then go to media add new and upload the placeholder image here now paste its url in this particular field Now you have defined your WooCommerce shop page but the shop page is not yet set as your home page. Now that would make online shopping inconvenient for your potential buyers as when they are interested in buying and search for your website's name they don't land up on your shop page. Thus from there they have to use your navigation menu to find their way to the products page. Thus you can simply make your shoppers life easier by setting your shop page as your home page. For that go to WordPress dashboard settings now click on reading in the home page display settings switch a static page instead of your latest post now click on the drop down in front of the home page and select your shop page that you want to be listed as your home page in the next step let's build your woocommerce shop page from scratch for that first go to wordpress dashboard pages shop page edit now wordpress's gutenberg editor is a block builder that lets you customize your page using many types of blocks after installing the woocommerce plugin you'll get access to 19 additional blocks that are designed to help you build and customize your shop page now let me build a shop page here from scratch to give you an idea however you can add or remove blocks as per your requirement i'll first add a search bar on top so that it's easier for my buyers to search for any product in particular for that click on the plus sign here search product search add the block Next follow the same process search featured product select it select the featured product and that will add the featured product on top you can also customize this block from the right panel here next here i would also add the on sale products as that's what mainly the buyers get attracted to Once done click update and your shop page is updated. 
Similarly, you can also take help from other WordPress WooCommerce themes like Storefront, Astra and others to give your store the aesthetics and functionality as per your requirement. Now your shop page is almost done. We have one last step which is customizing your WooCommerce shop page. Now apart from these handy blocks, WooCommerce also offers an extra layer of customizations to the shop page. Now these customizations in WordPress are nested as appearance menu. These customizations let you manage the number of products on the shop page, size of image thumbnails and much more. For that go to WordPress dashboard, appearance and click on customize. Click on WooCommerce from the list of customizable website elements. Then choose product catalog. Click on the first drop down and choose if you want your shop page to show products, categories or both. Let's select both here. Below that from here you can select the display of the category. Whether you want the category to display products or categories or both of them. Here I would prefer to keep it as only products. Here in the third drop down, you can select the default sorting of your products on the shop page to be sorted. You can keep it default or according to the name, popularity, rating or by the price in descending or ascending order. The last two options on this page will let you control how many products per row and rows per page your shop page should have. This will help you change the grid size of the products in the shop page, increase the number of rows to get more products in one page. With three rows, the shop page would look like this. Now, if I increase it to four rows, it would look something like this. And similarly, you can keep increasing or decreasing according to your requirement. Now, go back to the previous page and click on product images. Here, you can adjust the size and the aspect ratio of your product thumbnails. Once done with all customizations, click publish. Next, there are a few more customizations you can take a look at. First, let's see how you can enable catalog mode. Now for enabling catalog mode, we will be using LX WooCommerce catalog mode plugin. The link to this plugin is given in the description. Once the plugins zip file is downloaded, go to plugins from WordPress dashboard and then upload it here. Next click install and then activate. Once the plugin is activated, your catalog mode will be enabled. Now to hide products price and configure settings, go to the setting option from here. Catalog mode from the top panel. Check the hide product price option from here. Make the other changes if required. And once done, click save changes. Once it is saved, your catalog mode will be enabled with hidden product prices on your WooCommerce shop page. Next, let me show you how to hide the products from the catalog. Now for that, we will use the default WordPress product settings. So go to WordPress dashboard, products, all products, select the product that you want to hide from the catalog, then click edit. Here in the right panel of the product editing page, there will be an option catalog visibility. Click edit and then select hidden. Once done, click update and the product will be hidden from the catalog. Similarly, you can hide more products from the catalog following the same process. Next, if you want to enable the sale badge for your products on your WooCommerce shop page, go to products, all products, select the product that you want should have the sale badge. Now click edit. In the settings page, scroll down to the product data general settings. Give a regular price and ensure to give a sale price. And then once done, click update. Now in the front end, that product will get the sale badge. Now this sale badge differs from theme to theme. Like in storefront theme, the sale badge looks something like this. Whereas in Astra theme, it looks like this. Now we are all done with all the customizations. So let's take a final look at the shop page in the front end. 
If you have followed the entire video from start, your shop page will look something like this in the front end. And that's all. With this video, you can see that setting up a WooCommerce shop page is quite easy. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.